This is BBC News. These are the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. The first shipment of American military aid to Ukraine has arrived in Kiev following frank talks over Russia's troop build-up at the border. A British Conservative MP who's accused Downing Street of trying to blackmail politicians seeking to oust Boris Johnson as Prime Minister is to meet police in the coming days to discuss his allegations. A week, a week after Tonga was devastated by a volcanic eruption and tsunami, humanitarian aid begins to reach the tens of thousands of people affected. The impact of rising energy prices, an urgent call for the government in the UK to intervene to help businesses and households manage spiralling bills. And the actor Arnold Schwarzenegger is involved in a multi-vehicle pile-up in Los Angeles. One person is in hospital, but it's not thought their injuries are life-threatening. Plus, the groundbreaking bionic eye operation and the 88 year old woman who's now able to see her grandchildren again. Hello and welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the world. These are the main stories this hour. We begin in Ukraine where the US has delivered its first shipment of military aid made up of what it says are 90 tonnes of lethal aid. Two words which seldom go together. The details of what's included haven't been made public, but this is what it looks like. This plane load arrived in Ukraine in the early hours of Saturday morning. You can see crates being unloaded. They're clearly too small to contain anything like a tank or an armoured vehicle. But what the boxes contain remains unknown. It comes after high-level talks between uh, American and Russian diplomats in Geneva on Friday over the tensions in Ukraine. The tens of thousands of Russian troops currently camped near the border. With the latest, Mark LaBelle 